Hi, it's Rajin from Rokado. Today video will be about thumbs, but not the teeth thumbs, but the dog thumbs. And it's not actually called thumbs, but the dew claws. In this video you will learn why dogs have them, how they use dew claws, and how you should take care of them. All healthy dogs have four primary toes on their legs, and almost all of them also have one or fifth additional toe on their front legs. These fifth toes are called dew claws. It's almost on the same spot as thumb on human hand and that is why they are sometimes referred as dog thumbs. Today dew claws are not very important for dogs but they still use it for few things. For example it helps them hold on to bones or toys when they eat it, chew it or just play with it. When they are walking, the dew claw is not touching the ground, but when they are at high speed and especially when they are turning, dew claws are providing extra traction and stabilization. There is one more reason that is very closely related to evolution of dogs. Some dog breeds use dew claws to climb trees. Yes, it's true, some dog breeds are able to climb trees and I will make a video about this topic later. Definitely. Basenji, New Guinea singing dog or Katahula leopard dog are able to climb trees almost like a cat and they use dew claws to grasp onto tree when climbing. And how is this related to evolution of dogs? 40 million years ago there was an animal called Miasis. It was an ancestor of today's dogs and it was tree climbing cat like animal. But eventually the Miasis evolved for ground living and became great on ground hunter, just like modern dogs. Almost all dogs have front dew claws, but not all of them have hind dew claws. It's work of evolution again, since front dew claws still have some purpose, hind dew claws are completely useless. There are also some breeds that have double dew claws. When a dog have double dew claw, it's called polydactyl, and there is nothing wrong with it. For some breed, it is actually breed standard requirement. Great Pyrenees or Briar dog must have double dew claws if they want to participate on official dog shows. The last thing I want to talk about is how to take proper care about the dew claws. And it's not actually very hard because it's same as maintenance of other dog's nails. You just need to regularly trim them into healthy length. You should never remove front dew claws from a dog because they have some purpose, but it's more and more common that veterinarians remove loose hind dew claws to newborn puppies. It should be done when a puppy is under 5 days of age and only after the area has been numbed with local anesthetic. Thank you for watching this video. Tell me in comments if your dog has hind dew claws or even double dew claws. If you enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something new, consider subscribing to this channel. It will be very appreciated. And check our social media links down in description. See you in the next video.